Hi ladies. Right, um, I've just been out with Julie this morning. We went browsing and then we bought. <laughs> we put my lamp on, I can't see without my lamp. Can't see with it. Anyway, um, sorry, I've just got this because I'm going to do that tutorial on the birdcage shortly. So I'm just getting everything prepared and ready. Um, but first of all, I just want to show you what we've actually bought today. Because I spend when I go with her, she's lethal. She actually bought me this. Um, vintage die cut 3D pyramid. Is it duke page? I don't know how you say it. Three sheets of pyramid. pyramid. Right, but I'm not going to use it for that because I love the pictures in it. So I'm going to use those on my tags. Some brilliant faces there. And um, some there. So um, that's what I'm going to use them for. But there's three pages in that. And we we went down to, uh, first of all, to Samuel Taylor's. And then this we bought at the range. It's a shop called The Range where you get all sorts, from furniture to arty stuff. Pricey like, oh, I saw that Mariposa paper again. Oh, my God. No, not paying that. <laughs> the day was definitely... Um, the 8 by 8 was 39 99 39 British pounds 99 and the 12 by 12 was 49 and the 6 by 8 I think it was 6 by 8 or 6 by 6 was um, 29 pound. So, no, they can keep it, I'm not bothered. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to show you what I bought. Um, this was from the range. I'll go mad because... Um, I wasn't going to spend, but I do. So there you go. I managed to get hold of, because I have this little punch, this little flower punch. And uh, so I've been making tiny, tiny wee flowers. Um, I do have a packet of them somewhere. Somewhere, anyway. I'll show you when I find them. I don't know what I've done with them, actually. They're in a set of six. I've been making sets of six up. And... Um, so I wanted this punch as well, so I've bought myself a punch. That one. Now, oh, uh, see, that one. So it's the inch one. <clears throat> and um, I'll now be able to make some more flowers, so I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Thrilled. Let's get rid of the rubbish. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and that was £4.99 for that. You see, five quid for that. It's only one of them little punch things. They're just... Never mind. I'm not going on about that. Anyway, then I bought myself these vinyls because um, these look fantastic on tags and um, it does save a lot of work and I have an awful lot of things to make up so I love those butterflies, look. So I bought two of those, one of those and then I bought the corners and the... Um, the, the, these are repositioned ones um, the what's the call it stamp thing you know what I mean oh, I've forgotten it's gone out of my head I'm so excited because my box came from Marlene well I went into the post office and picked it up god she's not Marlene it's the other woman the woman that served me she went in the back and I said look there, is a, there was two parcels delivered yesterday and one of them we picked up that was two parcels together but there was two parcels written on the card which means two separate parcels so she went in the back, she come back and she went, no love, I'm sorry, there's nothing here. I said, well, I've spoke to Marlene, it's been tracked and it got delivered twice yesterday within an hour. And because I wasn't in, um, they took it back and they've brought it back here. Please go and check again. I said, it's coming from Marlene Lund from America. She came out with the big box and she says, oh, I thought Marlene was the one it was supposed to come to. Oh, the doors in there. Honest to God. Anyway, so I've got my box. I have had a look because Julie was here and I shared it, you know, she opened it up and shared. we were peeking inside together. And I'm absolutely thrilled. But I bought myself a palette um, like this. I do have some palettes, but I haven't got this one. And that's because these are fantastic when you're colouring. You've got the little wells, but then you've got this to mix when I'm doing my paste mixing and things like that. And I will be showing you how to use these when I do some backgrounds because people have requested me to do a tutorial on the background so I will be doing that at some point today so that was from the range um, and then what we got from oh we went into Hobbycraft we didn't go to Samuel Taylor's did we? we went to Hobbycraft silly old Hobbycraft sorry <laughs> I'm so excited so so excited 
wasn't Samuel Taylor's, it was Hobby Craft, I do apologise. Right, what I found with these junior in the junior craft section for th age three plus, that's about right for me, uh, are these cut out shapes, wooden shapes. And these are brilliant for painting and then stamping. I've got heart shaped stamps. Um, and look, you can put a picture on these, you can put your name on these, you can put numbers and letters on these. So, and they were, um, I think they were one ninety nine for all of them, which wasn't bad because it was in the children's section. Good. <laughs> and then I managed to find this letter E, which is chip, um, MDF wood, and it's shaped and everything along the edge. And I just thought, I got that little one yesterday for Elaine, um, Honeybee, and I thought, oh, I'll get her a bit of D. So I've got you that one, Elaine. Look, really, it's quite thick and it's wood, MDF. And you'll be able to do that and decorate it, sweetheart. So I've got you that. So that'll go in your box, which I'll put it there. I also got you these. I'm going to show you some of your bits, but I'm not going to show you at all. I got you these because if I start seeing bees and frogs and things like that, I'm going to start collecting them and send them to you, darling. So look, some li the little wooden honeybees. So there you go. I got you some of them. And then I... I got silly frogs a, a present. <laughs> I got him some silly frogs. <laughs> now I'm going to I'm going to open them because I don't want to send all the packaging. I can get more in the box if I don't set the packaging. So sorry about that, darling. But I am going to open them to show you. But um, I just thought it matches his name, and that's what they are: silly frogs. <laughs> I got little shorts on and they're on sticky backs. The metal, little green metal silly frogs. So I've got you those, darling, and I'm going to pop them in your parcel. Sorry for opening them, but I'm not sending it with all this packaging. Well, I can get more in your parcel that way, can't I? So I just thought they were absolutely ace. And I don't know whether you finished your album for him, but I'm sure you can find space to put one of these on. So I think they, um, you'll like that. So I got you those. I also bought some of this uh, Anita's 3D clear gloss finish for liquid embossing and it actually was a good price it was £3.49 and um, because I do embossing and that and it's a clear like a glue um, varnish over it so uh, I got that so I'm quite chuffed at that in fact I'm really chuffed at that because I've been looking for it for ages so I've got that let me just pop that there um, I then managed to get because of this um, Where's my thing? You know, uh, oh, let me just find where I put it. There it is. You know when uh, I was doing the tag yesterday? I'll just show you the tag again. This tag. Well, I needed something that will glue this on, uh, all the copper, the copper flakes. And I was still picking that out of my hair this morning. If anybody didn't know, I sneezed when I opened the box. <laughs> It went in my eyelashes and everywhere. Honest, because when it sticks to you, it sticks to you. And I had it all over. I'm still picking bits up. And I have to save every pick because it was expensive. <laughs> but that was funny. I should have filmed that one, shouldn't I? But anyway, so what I've bought is this Effects um, Mix and Gilding Paste. And you put that on first, which I'm going to show you on the next birdcage tutorial I do uh, shortly. You put that on and then glue, uh, then pick this up with a brush, pop it on and blend it in. Uh, and you know and it uh, sticks it to it and then I can emboss it with clear embossing powder so I'm absolutely thrilled at that and that was three that was also three pound 49 um, so really you get a lot in it for what it is so I don't mind that I don't mind that at all um, so that's the tag we're gonna be making shortly and then I, I found these Windsor and Newton uh, inks oh my nails are filthy again and um, what they are, it's this one is the peat brown ink. And what I'm going to be doing with that, I will show you a different textured background. Mod Podge, colour it with the ink. This is the only one I own at the moment, but and these were um, they were three pound fifty. But I'm going to be getting some more of these. I will invest some of my uh, hard-earned cash into these because, um, and then I want some more Mod Podge and I'll uh, be able to do a lot of different backgrounds for you. 9.55, it's going off, I'll be back in a minute. 